Number 22. How many distinguishable permutations can be formed using the letters from the word Massachusetts? Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward formula. Uh, towards the end of the video, I'll show a little bit of the intuition behind it, but pretty much what you do is first you count all of the different letters. So uh, how many letters do we have in total? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 13 letters. And then we take that we take that number and divide by the factorial of the repeating numbers. So what does that look like? So we only have one M, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, but we look at A and we have two A's. So we're going to take this and divide by two factorial. And then we look and we have how many S's do we have? One, two, three, four S's. So next we look at we already looked at A's. C's, we don't have any repeating C's, no repeating H's, no repeating U's. Already looked at S's, no repeating E's, but we have two repeating T's. So then we divide by two factorial again. And if we see what this equals, see, we get 13, not 31, 13 factorial divided by two factorial, which is just two, divided by four factorial, which is 24, and then divide by two again. So we get uh, what is that? Like 64 million? And yep, looks like that's answer choice A. So if you're just looking for the answer in a formula, then you can then you can go now, but I'm gonna show a little bit of the intuition behind this. So let's make this question a little bit simpler. Let's say you just had uh, a four-letter word. And let's say we're using the word ball. So you can see here we have four letters, but you have this repeating, uh, this repeating set right here where you have two L's. Well, if these two L's were, if they were distinguishable, or in other words, I say the one is the first L and one is the second L. Well, then there's, there will be 24 different ways to arrange this because, well, let's say you're trying to form a four letter combination. There would be four letters that could go right here. And then three letters that can go right here because you already, because you just used one. Two letters that can go right here. And then there's just one left that can go right there. And that's 24. Well, but the thing is, is that for every one of these, so say one of the, our combinations is L1, L1A, L2B, that, that would be one of the combinations. For every one of these, there's going to be another that's the same combination, just with the L's flipped, right? So these are going to come in pairs because in the end, there's two factorial ways of determining which L is is which, right? So the L, L1 could either go right here, and L2 here, or L2 could go here, and L1 here. So in the end, you have to take this number and divide it by two factorial, because if you, if you make them non-distinguishable like they are in Massachusetts, right, they both come out to look like this, which is the same thing, but we've ended up counting it twice because there's, because, in the first version, we've distinguished between the two different L's, but whenever you don't, there is no difference. So you've counted it twice. So that's why you have to divide by two factorial. And so in reality, there's only 12 distinct variations. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you next time.